Next step, applying color. And there's two different ways you can do that. One way, if you just look at the chimney again, here's my volume measure, so it's a volume. And if you want to apply color to that, one way of doing is using vertex color. Vertex color is a tag that you can find in Cinema, Cinema 4D tags, vertex color. And what that tag does is, is it's saving a color for every vertex on your object. So this can be used to just paint color onto objects without doing UV unwrapping, without doing textures. It's a very straightforward way of adding color to an object. As you can see here, that's our finished train and we just selected all the polygons that were supposed to get one certain shader and we used restrict to polygon selections to texture our train. So this thing here is going to be red, everything else going to be green. And this is also a rather straightforward and quick way of applying textures. The good thing is that with polygon selections, you also don't need to unwrap it. If we go to quick shading lines again, you can see that the mesh structure of a volume mesh is not as clean as it would be if you do polygon modeling. So unwrapping might be a bit of a headache, but as we were using noises a lot to texture our objects, that wasn't really a matter and we used polygon selections to apply shaders to certain areas. So that again was a very quick, uh, quick and straightforward way of texturing it. And here's a rendering of the, of the finished train. That's how it looked in the final movie. Von Fabriken und Autos zum Beispiel. Denn davon gibt es seit gut 100 Jahren immer mehr. Ihre Abgase sind in der Luft sowas wie fiese Wächter. 